Well, I'm in the hotel room. I know it's been a little bit that I've been over here in Japan and haven't filmed much, so I want to get a video out, and I'm about to make breakfast in my room. As you can see, I got oatmeal, I got some protein, some peanut butter, and I have water boiling. So what I'm going to do is I put two, a half cup of oatmeal in here, two scoops of the protein, which I'm now trying cake donut, and a big spoon of peanut butter, put the hot water on, mix it all up, and... It's got my carbs, got my proteins, and my fats in it. So, looks like we're gonna start off good. I uh, went for a walk this morning, kinda got lost, but uh, we'll figure out the rest of the day soon. It's a day off here in Horoshima. I'm at Champ's Gym in Kurishima, Japan. You can see, it's got everything you need, but kinda small. See, I love gyms like this. You get the best lift on. You have to really want to work out to, to train at a gym like this. It's awesome. I'm trying to train back here, and as I said, it's very small. And I found this little tiny room that has some rowing equipment in it that I'm going to give a shot and a treadmill and stuff. You got to see this. This is like literally, if you don't love working out, you're not going to work out in a place like this. This is why I love finding places like this so much. In Hiroshima, apparently, this is the gym that uh, Liger grew up in. So this is his hometown. And Tanahashi was telling me that Liger grew up in this gym. And I'm telling you, man, it's something special. Uh, I'll show you this room, and by the time I leave, I'll show you the rest of the gym. It's, it's fantastic. Now look at this room. That is the mirror that's right up against it, okay? Now, this is the other side of the wall. There's literally not a lot of space. Here's a row machine. As you see, it's on an angle, because that's the only way it will fit. There's a treadmill over there. This is an ab rocker. This is for your hamstrings. And this bad boy is a little T-bar row, uh, which is tremendous. You can see it's wedged up in a corner, just enough room to fit. Man, this uh, this is great. They got great posters on the wall. They got a poster for the Tag League out there because we're in town tonight and a bunch of other stuff. Pictures of Liger on the wall, which I will definitely show. See the rest of the gym. I'm almost done my workout. I'm here with Tanahashi. Man, is he famous. Look, people just wait around to get autographs and pictures with him while he's working out. It's amazing. I, I love Japan so much. Um, it's great. See what I mean? I don't want to crowd them, but sign the stuff in the gym. It's crazy. It's been everywhere. Go to eat, go to the gym, wherever. He stops, sign autographs, take pictures. It's amazing. Well, I'm at the show in Hiroshima. I'm doing some cardio just around the building because I already lifted today, so I figured I might as well get some extra cardio in. Uh, as you can see, this setup behind me looks awesome. Uh, something really great about Japan is all the venues are just perfect size and uh, perfect capability for a big wrestling show. So, man, it's uh, I can't express my love for, for the Japanese culture and wrestling in Japan is, is tremendous. So I'll get some more shots here in a bit, but I'm gonna finish up with some with some cardio here. We just got done in Fukuoka for our first night. Uh, luckily, we're at this hotel for a couple of nights so I can let stuff dry. And wrestling gear, I usually bag at home and put on then delicates and straight cold water. Uh, but the washing machines are a little different here, so I can't do that. So I do the next best thing. The next best thing is right here. Uh, sit it in the tub, I run some cold water. And then I add some detergent here, let it soak for a bit, then uh, rinse it and try to get it as dry as possible with my hands and then hang it up for the next couple nights while we're here and then I'll go down and do coin laundry for the rest of my laundry. Uh, I've been forgetting to film some stuff, you know, just caught up with everything. Uh, we just got done lifting at Gold's Gym in Fukuoka. Uh, I had to buy a shake, as you can see. I ran out of my protein. Um, you know, sitting in a hotel room, you kind of need need to eat as much as you can when you're bored. Uh, so I tried to keep it to shakes and bars so it's not too many calories. Uh, we got a show today. It's about an hour drive from Fukuoka. I can't remember the town. So we decided to come get an early lift in, and then we're going to head back, shower up, pack, and head off to the show, so maybe I'll try to get some footage at the show tonight and hopefully get this up tomorrow. I know I said I was going to try to get this up soon when I got to Japan. Uh, I filmed a bunch of stuff, but I didn't know what I should put up. 
Uh, you know, I don't want to upset the New Japan office or catch anything I shouldn't. So um, I kept it, you know, pretty pretty low-key for the happenings here. Um, a lot of sleep on the bus so I couldn't film and slept on the plane. Uh, I'll try to get some stuff on the way home in the airport and the plane and stuff like that. But I did want to post something while I was over here. So there's a couple little things, you know, uh, and then I just wanted to talk to you guys. When I get home, hopefully I can find some time. You know, it's going to be really busy when I get back to keep on with the sit-down interviews. Um, I know there's still a lot left in my career that I'd like to talk about, and I hope to express all those things to everybody. But I just wanted to let you know a little bit about this tour. Um, you know, teaming with Tanahashi has been great, as I'm sure many fans could could understand. You know, he's uh, one of the best. Uh, it really is. And just watching him while I'm on the apron or in the ring with him, it's just amazing how good he is you know he really reminds me of watching Shawn Michaels as a kid like just his movements and stuff they're really fluent and funny enough you know we spent a lot of time together going to gyms and, and going out to eat between shows and stuff so I got to learn quite a bit about him and it's funny because we like a lot of the same wrestling um he, he one of his favorites was Shawn Michaels and one of my favorites was Shawn Michaels uh he loved the great Muda I loved the great Muda uh, we both enjoyed the heavyweight style of all Japan growing up so uh, we spoke about a tag match we both enjoy, which was Taue and, and Kawada against Kabashi and Masawa. And if you haven't watched that match, you got to, because it's one of the best tag matches I've ever seen in my life. Uh, so the similarities are awesome. You know, um, everything in here is awesome. Honestly, if I had the chance to move to Japan for a couple of years, I definitely would. I love it over here. I love the culture. I love the food. I love the wrestling. Um, New Japan, man, they're... Uh, their stuff is just on point, you know, the setups and and the crowds and the wrestlers, you know, everybody's just so good in the ring. It's it's great to be over here and it's great to to finally, you know, find a spot here. Um, I'm hoping that continues in 2016 and I hope that I'll be over here more so than ever. But uh, I mean, only time will tell about that. You know, it's been a great been a great tour and I'm hoping people are watching the tag matches and are enjoying them because I enjoyed I enjoyed being in that ring and I enjoyed working with everybody I had the chance to work with. I know, as I said, it, it's hard to go into detail because I don't know I don't know what I can say and what I can't say. You know, wrestling's a little bit different over here. Um, not that I ever want to give away any secrets or anything, regardless. But the last thing I really want to do is upset New Japan. So I hope this is this is an, sufficient enough for you guys. I hope that. Even though the, it's only five minutes of stuff doing in Japan, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully you guys will watch this and like it, and hopefully I can get some stuff maybe tomorrow on the travel day, and maybe I can get some stuff on the final day. You know, I'm sure we'll go out to eat or something, so we'll get some of that. We'll get some stuff on the airport on the way home, and then my return to PWG. So, hopefully you guys will continue to watch, and hopefully this one wasn't too lame. All right, guys, take care. I did forget to add one thing. Uh, it wasn't that I wasn't thinking about them, I just didn't know if I should say it here, but as much as I love wrestling over here, you know, missing Mischief and Jax is, is hard, especially because this is the first time since Jax has been born that I've been away longer than two or three days. Uh, you know, I love them to death and uh, I love being around them, and I'm excited to get home. You know, unfortunately, Mischief is head back into, heading back to work, um, so she doesn't get to see him during the day, but... I'm lucky that I get to stay home during the week and be with them all day, and I'm excited to get back to that. Uh, you know, it's a busy schedule when I get back, so it's going to suck because I land around 5 p.m. on Thursday, and then I fly out Friday morning for PWG. And then we get back and get to celebrate my birthday. So hopefully hopefully I won't go go too much missing anymore, you know. Um, it's It's just been tough. Uh, luckily, you know, Skype has uh let me see him he's already grown about two pounds since i left so he's gonna be a big boy when i get back uh and obviously continue to grow i'm excited to to see them and I'm excited to get back to them but uh as i said you can't can't not love wrestling over here in japan it's been great i hope that maybe when Jax is a little bit older i'll still be competing for new japan and can bring him over with me all right guys this one's goodbye take care